Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather. All right, 646 on our Saturday morning, and I know a lot of people are in town to maybe ski this weekend, and it looks like conditions will fare pretty well for... Yeah, we got, we got some snow uh, last night, which was nice. And the other thing is we've got the cold air, which uh, will allow them to, uh, you know, blow the snow and, yes. and make the snow. So that'll certainly help uh, ski areas uh, looking for anything that they, they can get here as we get into the holiday weekend. And uh, it's looking pretty good. This is one of those bundle up weekends, though, if you are headed up to the uh, to the slopes this weekend. Looking good in Plattsburgh this morning as we look out over the city. A uh, fresh coat of snow, chilly, 22 right now with the north wind at 14 miles per hour. And in St. Albans, we've noticed the roads a little wet, a little glistening there on the uh, the pavement on Main Street. Notice some of the sidewalks, maybe still a little snow covered, so some slick spots around this morning. Just keep that in mind. A parking lot sidewalks that uh, have not been treated yet, maybe a little slippery, 20, to, uh, 20 degrees in St. Albans right now with that north wind at 9 miles per hour. Across the region, temperature is a little cooler in northern New York. It is 15 in Minnesota and 16 in Saranac Lake this morning, but a little warmer on the other side of Lake Champlain, 22 in St. Johnsbury, 28 in Lebanon, and 28 degrees as well in Brattleboro right now. Here's Storm Tracker, pretty quiet. Most of the thicker clouds we've seen have moved on towards the east right now, but still a few flurries around. We saw some flurries make their way across parts of Lake Champlain, northern Vermont into the Adirondacks over the last little while, and some snow showers too making their way up by Interstate 91 towards the interchange with 89 in West Lebanon. So some flurries and snow showers around and that'll continue as we head through the day today. Still a lot of clouds we'll be dealing with today, but I think a brighter sky as we get into the day on Monday. So today mostly cloudy temperatures getting up into the mid 20s as we head through later on this afternoon that north wind 10 20 miles per hour or so at times. So a little breezy. A lot of clouds around today, maybe some breaks in those clouds mainly late as we get into overnight tonight looking at uh, uh, the trend for a little bit of clearing and on uh, Sunday notice more breaks in the clouds here. I think a brighter sky on Sunday afternoon. You know, the one thing we will have to watch for tomorrow, especially right in the Champlain Valley, the cold air a little breezier tomorrow with that north wind coming across Lake Champlain. We may be dealing with a little bit of lake effect snow across parts of uh, south the western Chittenden, northern Addison counties during the day on Sunday. That'll uh, keep some extra clouds around a chance for that at least uh, as we head through the day on Sunday. We're not talking about a whole lot here. Uh, it's not like, uh, you know, Western New York when they get in on lake effect snow, but some flurries and snow showers around. And then on Monday, the thing we've got to deal with is a storm back towards our east, which is actually going to push back towards the west. That'll bring some extra clouds in here during the day on Monday, especially areas east of Lake Champlain. So this afternoon, mostly cloudy, a uh, lot of clouds, temperatures into the mid 20s for highs as we get into later on this afternoon and a few flurries and snow showers possible as well, especially this morning, especially as we get up into the the higher terrain as we head through this afternoon. Breezy, cold tomorrow, that north wind making it feel pretty cool too. 21, we'll see some extra clouds around, maybe a couple of flurries or snow showers in spots as we mentioned. More clouds east on Monday with a high to 22. And then it stays pretty unsettled for most of the week ahead. Some snow showers around on Wednesday. We'll get back up into the mid-30s for highs. And the chance for a more significant storm towards the end of the week uh, we'll watch that over the next several days. Still pretty uncertain uh, this far out, but uh, something to watch here over the next several days, and we'll do that for you here.